15.15 a.m. and I'm here at Castel Franco Emilia station. Why? Well, they say wine can make people enthusiastic, possibly even obsessive. I'm on my way to uh, Terroir Vino in Genova and the only direct train from this area meant a 120 kilometre drive to get here and now I've got three and a bit hours on the train. So I'll see you again in Geneva. But luckily it's a beautiful morning after one week of very wet, miserable days. Good news, we've arrived here in Geneva. Sitting on there for nearly four hours. It doesn't look like there's a deluge coming. Apparently yesterday there was a deluge. My hotel room was damaged, so they moved me to a different hotel. Fortunately for me, it's nearer the station, so uh, not such a bad thing. I'll see you in a bit. Maybe we'll have a look at a couple of things in Geneva. Bit of a maze to get uh, out of here. There's a station, just to show we're by the Mediterranean Sea. There's a palm tree, and here's what Geneva's all about. This gentleman here. Known to us. Well, here's the view out of the hotel window, looking across the port to the Liguria Sea. Uh, there's some super yachts there tied up, and the building just behind them, with a red roof there, that is the uh, old cotton warehouses, that's where the conference is taking place. I'm just having a little freshen up, luckily my room was ready, and uh, as soon as I feel a bit better, I've had a long night, um, I'll be on my way over there. I might walk, I might take the metro, who knows, it looks near enough to walk. Okay, I'm down by the port now. Behind me, there, is the cotton magazine, the cotton uh, warehouses, and on the other side, the Geneva Aquarium. So I'm uh, in the heart of tourist zone. There's a great big queue for it over there. I'm glad I'm not going. I'm glad I'm doing something else today, something a little more worthwhile. And if you look there in my bag, there we are, something towards lunch. Now this, this might look like a sort of a beach pavilion or an ice cream shop or a mini bar or something, but in fact, it's a lift. And it's attached by those cables to that beam there, which is part of this beautiful structure in the middle of the port. They've certainly done an amazing job renovating this area. It really lives. Tourists, visitors, young people, everywhere.
Severino Bianco. Pop it out there. There it is. Okay, which I reviewed a couple of months ago. It's going to be a gift to my uh, biggest fan on the web at the moment, which is the guys from Sunday and uh, not much happening there right now over on that side towards the business district the higher buildings this is the ferry port Sardinia, Spain, Sicily and southern Italy and also North Africa another ferry and then round on this side we have a super yacht Absolutely immense. I might be totally wrong, but I believe that this is a privately owned ship. So, uh, 
somebody doesn't have to count the pennies too often.